Welcome back to another episode of Ethan and Ella. Today we come bearing great news. Jail sentence for YouTube pranksters. Come on, Ella, get on this. Give a round of applause, dude. It finally happened. So these people went to prison, dude. It's about time we've been hoping and praying for this, dude. Finally, the headline. Jail sentence for YouTube pranksters, guys. Am I taking too much joy in this? A little too happy. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. I, for some reason, have never heard of these guys. I have seen one or two of their pranks. Ela's savvy on the prank. <laughs> Ela's more in tune with the prank culture on YouTube than me. You know, trying to do research. Yeah, Ela gets around. <laughs> this channel is called Troll Station, and they've been apparently dropping some bomb ass pranks on YouTube for so long that this isn't the first time one of them's been arrested. In fact, back uh, last year, one of them got arrested for the very insightful and practical and very safe and wonderful. Fake bomb heist. Oh, the classic. This one you guys are gonna love. They're trolls. It says it so in their name of their channel. Oh, do you wanna just hold it for a sec? Like, I don't know, can you, I'm trying to, it's, it's gonna stop real quick. Can you just hold it real quick. Essentially, he had a clock in his suitcase and he would give it to people and then run away. Amazing. In this day and age, really, it doesn't get better than that. This is the kind of stuff that Troll Station is known for. Dropping bomb ass pranks and literal bombs. So today, a judge sentenced four of them to like 10, like 10 or 15 weeks in prison. How long was I think it? Some got 15, some got like 12. So uh, I, it's a significant amount. It's like several months in prison, yeah. not a small amount. So what was it that landed these sweet pr young pranksters, these sweet, so much life ahead of them, so many pranks. I mean, how many pranks are they going to miss out on being in prison? Quite a lot. It's fucked up. They could have fake bombed a train station. Fake blown up a kindergarten. Fuck you! You just got pranked! So let's check it out. Let's see what's all the fub bub about. So here it is, guys. Arts gallery heist prank gone sexual. That's some trolley ass music, isn't it? What's up? What's going on, train station? We got a prank heist today! We got him! Let's go! We got him again! Let's go! Are you mad? Are you mad? This is. I don't come! Right? Really speaking English? <laughs> I like the eerie music, setting the scene for some real hardcore shit, some epic pranks coming down, about to drop down here. Are you mad? Get the pants! Are you mad? Get the pants! Get the pants! Get the pants! Have you got the pants? Have you got the pants? Hey! Hey, come let's go! Get the pants! Everyone's going! Hey, what? Where's the pants though? Have you got the pants? Have you got the pants? I've got the pants! I've got the pants! I've got the pants. You got the pants! Oh, no, it's this way from! Hey! This way, the pants! Let's go! The pants! Come on! Everyone, let's go! Everyone grab a painting! Everybody grab a painting. So he's encouraging people to grab paintings off the wall. Why would you do that? It's a prank, bro. They're reacting exactly how you would expect them. They're scared. They think they're in danger. It's chaotic. It's very spooky. It's a great prank. If you managed to traumatize a couple people, that was a great prank. More trauma, the better. I'm surprised the judge didn't see it that way. This prank was done almost a year ago, exactly. Mm. These guys put it on their channel, and the courts in the UK were like, oh, fuck you guys. I remember that shit you did. They, they pretty much only arrested them because they put it on their channel. They're able to identify them. And you gotta love it. For 200,000 views and 6,000 likes, these guys are in prison for several months. I mean, yeah, you feel bad, but it's like, dude, I mean, what the fuck? This is the best you guys could think of is to go into like a public building and then like cause chaos. I mean, people could have definitely got hurt. Let's go, everyone, grab a painting! And it's not even that funny, it's not even that good. And if you ruin like some really good pieces of art, that's, that's mm. some serious guilt to carry for the rest of your life. I got a feeling these guys don't have a problem carrying guilt around you, <laughs> but I agree with you. But it gets better actually, this isn't even the best part here. I like the ending. I just love this shot of like 30 people like running away in fear. <laughs> oh shit! Wait guys, we're just kidding! <laughs> Fucking idiots. I mean, you just can't do whatever you want. I gotta say, it's about time. Like, these pranks have been going on for so long. That's that what- 
That's why I'm getting all. That's why I'm getting excited, dude. I'm not excited. They're still going to jail, and they're not going to have fun there. Okay, Eels being a reasonable human being. <laughs> I'm not excited about it, but it's about time. It's about time. It's about time. I mean, people have been pushing the envelope for like long enough. It's come to the point where it's like, okay. Let's put some people in prison now. I wanted to actually watch another one of their videos just to show you guys how annoying they are. I feel like the, I feel like it's a miracle they weren't thrown in jail earlier. They have a whole section on their channel dedicated to fucking with the police. Okay, I'm reloading. You think you're big time? I saw your big time. What? This one I found particularly obnoxious. What a fucking sick ass troll channel, dude. This guy's a sick social experimentator. Title's pretty obnoxious too. If you did this in America, although to be fair, he probably would have been murdered. <laughs> if you shoot a cop in America with the dart, you will be murdered. You will be shot in the face. So here's another great one from 2014. So the fact that these guys have just gone to jail now is kind of a miracle. This one's called Shots Fired in Public. Prank. Let's check it out. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> just pranked that oh one God. guy. That one guy who shit his pants who was walking by. They got him good. That's crazy. It's a great social experiment. Like you said, there's just so many outcomes. <laughs> oh, bang you out, bang you out. The people there think someone just got shot in front of them. Yeah, and they're in danger. It's like, God. <laughs> you witness someone getting murdered, everybody knows you're next. I've seen some people feeling bad for these guys. I Look, it's like, it's not a happy thing. They're going to jail. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? They're not going away for life. They're going away for several months, and frankly, they they had it fucking coming. Yeah. And not only them, they, they're kind of taking it for the whole community. They've all had it coming, and these guys just had to take it for the team. But they'll be out in a couple months, and I'm sure they'll be back to bombing kindergartens. It was just a prank, Your Honor. They got to release a video of them saying that to the judge. Did he, did he not get the memo? I feel like he. I feel like there's no justification for them being in prison if they didn't get the. It's just a prank memo. Unbelievable. Their lawyer really failed them. Yeah. I feel like pranks have been dead. A dead meme for a while. I think so. Yeah. And I feel like this is kind of the nail in the coffin. Yeah. It's officially now. The the memes are in the coffin. It's just a prank, bro. Gone sexual. You know all this shit. Social experiment even. It's in the coffin, and this judge just fucking nailed it shut. Gun prison. Gun prison! That's a new one. <laughs> so this is it. Social experiment, gone prison. Ha! Got him! Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. We love you. And we'll be seeing you most definitely next time. Pound it! Wow. Great move. Keep it up.